So do you have to do something to get that off of that screen? No, it yeah, be... just yeah, just click OK on it and you're good to go on the screen in the back. I just started the recording. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're ready? It is effectively you are ready to go. And you're on. Okay. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Fine. fine, fine. Fine, fine. It's good to hear from everybody. It's been a beautiful day. I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath as you've had wonderful Sabbath so far. Mm -hmm. Let us uh, bow our heads as we begin this lesson. Bow our heads. Dear Father, thank you so much for loving us the way that you do. Thank you for carrying us in your arms. And thank you that no one can take us out of your hands. Open our minds that we may comprehend uh, all the treasures in heaven that you have waiting for us. And forgive the sins we've committed against you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We're on the 14th lesson, which is the last lesson of the basic uh, uh, Bible Amazing Facts series. So this will end after today, the basic lessons, and then we move to our favorite part, which is the advanced. Okay, so we've done 14 lessons. So give yourself a hand, those who've been faithfully standing by. So we're going to get started with is obedience legalism? And let me read this to you. We do not earn salvation by obedience, for salvation is the free gift of God to be received by faith. Obedience is the fruit of faith. Here is the true test. If the love of God dwells in us, our feelings, thoughts, purposes, and actions will be in harmony with the will of God. The condition of eternal life is just what it has always been, perfect obedience to the law of God. Perfect obedience to the law of God. Can we perfectly obey Jesus? Hmm? We oh, can I, with the Spirit's help. Yes, with the Spirit's help, we can. Very good. All right, here we go. Of course, we got to do our memory verse review. So you know where you're going to be doing 14 memory verses. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can do those. Are you ready? We're ready. All scripture is okay given. together. So let's go read it nice and slowly so that everyone can hear. You have the mic, Debbie? Yes. Okay, let's go read it together. All scripture, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God be perfect. Thoroughly furnished, furnished unto all good works. Second Timothy three. Second Timothy and three sixteen and seventeen. Number two. Thou wast perfect in thy, in ways, thy ways from, from the, the day, day that thou, thou wast created, created till, till iniquity was found in was thee. found in thee. Ezekiel, Ezekiel twenty eight 15. fifteen. Number three. For God God so loved, loved the world. world that he, that gave, he gave his only begotten God's son that whosoever believeth in him should, should not perish, perish but, but have, have everlasting life john, john 3, 3 16, 16 number four but as it but is as it is written i, I have, have not, not seen nor ear heard neither have, I have entered into the heart, the heart of man of the things, things which, which God hath prepared, prepared for them that them love him. First Corinthians 2, 2 9. 9, number 5. Therefore, shall a, shall man, a man leave his father and his, and his mother, mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, his wife and, and they shall be one flesh. flesh. Genesis two twenty four number 6. Think not, Think not that I am come to destroy, destroy the, the law or the prophets. I am not come, come to destroy, destroy but, to but to fulfill. fulfill. For verily I say, I say unto you, till heaven, heaven and, and earth pass, one, one jot, jot or, or one, one tittle shall in no, in no wise pass, pass from, from the law, law 
to so all, all be fulfilled. Matthew 5, 17 and 18, number seven. Remember, Remember the Sabbath day to keep, to keep it, it holy. Six, Six days shalt shall thou labor and, and do all thy work. But the, but the seventh, seventh day, day is the Sabbath of the, of the Lord thy God. God. In, In it thou shalt, shalt not do any, any work, work, thou, nor thy son, son, nor thy daughter, daughter thy, thy manservant, servant, nor, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Exodus 20, 8 to 11, number 8. For the Lord Hold himself shall descend, shall descend from, from heaven, heaven with a shout, with, with the voice of the archangel, archangel and, and with the trump, trump of, of God, God and, and the, the dead, dead in Christ shall rise, shall rise first. First Thessalonians 4, 16, number 9. Uh, he, he that, that believeth, believeth and, and is baptized shall be saved. saved. But he, he that, that believeth, believeth not shall, shall be damned. Mark 16, 16, lesson number 10. For the For living the dead, know, the that know that they shall die, die but the but dead, dead know not, not anything. anything. Neither, Neither have they any more a reward. For the memory of them, of them is, is forgotten. forgotten. Also, also their love, their love and, their and their hatred and their, and their envy is now, now perish. Yes, 6, 9, 5, and 6, lesson 11. As I live, saith, saith the Lord, Lord God, I have no pleasure, pleasure in, the, in death, the death of the wicked, but that, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will he die? Ezekiel 33, 11. You notice I didn't have my little Q letters on this one. I know. A mistake, but you did good without it. Number 12. Blessed, Blessed and holy is he that, that hath part, part in the, the first resurrection. resurrection. On, on such, such the, the second, second death, death have no, no power, power. But, but they shall be priests of God and Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Revelation 26, excellent. Number 13, almost there. Whether therefore ye eat, eat or, drink, or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do, do all, all to the, the glory of God. God. First Corinthians 10, 31, and the... Huh, so... That was it for today. We're not gonna do this one. We're not gonna go back and do these, but when you take your test, this is what, this is what you're going to right. do. We won't have, it'll be just like that. In fact, it'll only have the text. text. Mm -hmm. And I'll have the topic, okay? But the rest, I will not have anything on it. So we won't do that today. And I, I get it, all right? Okay. Last week we talked about health, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a review. So we're just gonna review what we talked about last week. So you're gonna have to match the answers with the numbers, our answers. They're out of order, match them correctly, okay? Got it? So if I were to say new start, what was matched to new start? Number five. And what is number five? Yes, the Mike? Eight, the eight laws of health. Okay, so you're going good. So you got it? Okay, so you got to skim over there kind of fast, all right? Mm -hmm. But I know that you can do it. Are you ready? Okay. New start. Number five. Read it, please. Eight laws of health. Fruits, nuts, and grains. Number, number 12. 12. Number 12. Origin original, original diet. diet. Yes. Chew the cud, split hoof. Clean animals in the ark, number 11. 
Yes. Um, clean animal, because both of them, it could be oh, either. But, but let's yep. go with the clean animals, because mm -hmm. when you go to the next one, you're going to need that other one. Fins <laughs> and scales. Clean Number fish. Nine. Nine. All right. Yes. Scavenger. Unclean animals in the ark. Eight. That it could be. Oh. Or. Or, or number 10. In the tent, mm -hmm. Yes, pig. pig. That's shrimp. right. Buzzard mm -hmm. shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two pairs. Uh, clean animals unclean. in the ark. How, I, I hear two unclean. animals. Oh, unclean. 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 Animals unclean. Animals yes. Number right. eight. Right. Yes. Seven pairs. That one's clean, clean animals. animals. Number 11. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bites like a serpent. 13. Alcohol. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, our body. Number 15, Temple of God. Very mm -hmm. good. Animal fat and blood. Uh, we're not supposed to eat them. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Animal, it's out 14, there. Number 14. Uh, number oh, 14. 14. Mm -hmm. God said, do 14. not eat. Do not eat. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This works like medicine. Three. Mary um, Hutt, where is that? Yes. Yes. Number um, three. Number mm -hmm. three. Self-control. Temperance number six. Yes, number mm -hmm. six. Okay. Rottenness to the bones. Oh, Let's see. Rottenness to the bones. 16 envy. Oh, envy. Yes, oh, envy. Okay. It's a tick okay. that says it's rottenness mm -hmm. to the bones. Okay. Uh, where am I? Oh, I am sick. Number, Number two. two, we won't say this in heaven. Yes, mm -hmm. vegetables. Number one. Number one, added after sin. Yep. Yeah. Then does that mes does that mean that there's the there's a curse on vegetables? No. Okay, no. good. Because we talked about it last week. Then what does it mean, saints? Why was vegetables added after sin? After Adam and Eve fell? Because they left the Garden of Eden and were no longer eating the. From fruit the from the tree of life. life and so yeah. and so they had to go about it getting it a different a way because mm -hmm. you remember in genesis it says that the animals ate the green herb of the field mm -hmm. and so that's what adam and eve mm -hmm. had to do once yeah. they fell uh wars against the soul fleshly lust where is that yeah number four yeah four. very good wonderful um you're just you're just smart why don't you just be, go ahead and, and I'll translate all of you to heaven. <laughs> okay. <I'm ready. laughs> Clearly you won't be leaving these chairs. Here we go. And there's your answers there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You did an excellent job. Wonderful. Now you're worth to study. Obedience is obedience legalism. So now we'll test your understanding of the lesson that you studied for this past week. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Does God take note of us personally? All yes, three. all three. Mm -hmm. Why is it? Why is oh, it just? Because it's not just Christians. Ah, it's everyone. It's not just yes. Christians. Right, yes, right. very good. Okay. I like doing those little things. Yeah, little, you know, keep your mind sharp. Sneaky. Keep your neurons <laughs> and stuff snapping together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Here we go. So. Can anyone be saved without obeying his word? No. Mm. What we got? Number B. No, we must obey all of the Lord's commandments. What about A? Why didn't you pick that? Well, <laughs> you can't be saved in ignorance. That's right. No. <laughs> and, and that's one thing that he does. We, we may not know everything. That's right. The Lord makes sure we'll know how, how to be saved. Mm -hmm. Very important. Okay, wonderful. Here we go. Why is obedience necessary? B. Yep, B. B. It's the only way for us uh -huh. to be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you didn't say C, because narrow is the gate that leads to what? Death. <laughs> Death. Leads to life. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Right. That's right. Why does God permit disobedience to continue? A. A. Yay. He wants everyone to be convinced of his of his love. Why isn't it B? Because everyone won't accept, oh, we'll accept exactly. him. 
Yes, yeah. very good. Here we go. Will the disobedient actually be destroyed? Yes. Mm -hmm. C. So which one is it? C. C. Mm -hmm. Sadly, God will destroy mm -hmm. the wicked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. And it says, yes, if they're not raising the second death. What's the second death, yes. saints? Yeah. What's the second death? The, the final the fire. Yeah, fire, yeah, yeah. Final okay. Death. I, I got to make sure you know what the is second death is. the first yes. death. You can't go around telling everybody we're waiting for the second death. Yeah. Oh, please. Here we go. <laughs> is it really possible to keep all of God's commandments? Yes, A through God's power. Mm -hmm. See if we follow Jesus. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. very good. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Are we guilty of disobeying Bible truth that was not clear? A, no, God, God does not hold us against us what we don't know. Mm -hmm. A, mm -hmm. God does not hold against us what we don't know. And the good thing about it is, He. There's no one that have died without having an intelligent mm -hmm. understanding, understanding of something. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. They have to, we have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Is God particular about every little detail? Yes, of yes. course. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. we are to live by every word of the Bible, particular about every mm -hmm. little detail. Does he care about what you put on? Mm -hmm. uh, does he care about uh, the kind of toothpaste you use? Yeah. <laughs> does he? <laughs> well, just well, to make the best choices. You, cares about it, yes. <laughs> hey, you know, they do say now chlorine, chlor what is it, chloride? Chlorine. chlorine. Chloride, they say that's not really good for you. Yes. So he, mm -hmm. he does care about that. You'll go to the store and you say, uh, what toothpaste should I get? What's the best for me? Do you think the Holy Spirit will tell you which one to pick? <laughs> he does care. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, if he can care about a piece of fruit. Yes. Right, right, all right. Right. Here we go. Should we wait until all obstacles are removed before obeying mm. new truth? No. No. Number C. C yeah. Right. And B. Mm -hmm. Press. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is dangerous. Yeah. And unless a person acts immediately upon light, it, it turns, turns to darkness. darkness. Mm. What if you don't understand something? What should you do? Study deeper to, to understand. Pray and ask the Lord for understanding. Yeah, yeah. And or or what? If you have nothing, you don't you have no no Bible, no scripture in front of you, you're not sure if you should do something. What's the best practice? Do it if the Lord says do it. No, I mean, oh. but you don't know, you don't understand. What's the best? Ask, pray, ask. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And and when in doubt. Yeah, he'll give it to you. Is complete obedience impossible for humans? No. It's complete obedience impossible. A. No, it's not impossible. Right. Yeah, A and B. Oh, no. With God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. No, we can do all oh, things right, through right, Christ. Right. Oh. And mm -hmm. no, Satan invented yeah. the falsehood that obedience, that obedience is impossible. impossible. That's right. yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so when someone tells you that it is impossible for a Christian to live on this earth and not sin, uh -huh. repeat mm -hmm. all three. Mm -hmm. Because it is possible. possible. Mm -hmm. Okay? And expected. And it, yes, that's right. When it says mm -hmm. overcome, he don't mm -hmm. mean overcome just the big things, yeah. the little ones, the little ones. That it's okay. Overcome means overcome every thing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Isn't love more important than obedience? They're the same thing. Yeah. Yes. yes. Let's see. Oh, and love to God it. cannot exist oh, yes, without, without obedience. obedience. Right. If you love God, you will love uh -huh. to obey Him. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Should I obey even if I don't understand why? Yeah. Well, then that's not obedience. Huh? A and B. Then that's not obedience. You have to understand. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to understand it. We'll understand it better mm -hmm. by and by. By and by, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, God requires things of us that we might not understand. Remember mm -hmm. when I told you before that I was studying to... Um, um, to be, you know, just to mm -hmm. find out who Christ was, and I didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. 
and, and I didn't understand. And so I was studying the amazing facts. So at that time, the amazing facts did not have the love of God in there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him. Therefore, I couldn't love him. Mm -hmm. And I was scared to say it. I said, I, don't I said, Jesus, I want to obey you and I'm going to, but I cannot stand and say, I love you because I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And when I sent that in to Voice of Prophecy like that, they overnighted it. <laughs> <laughs> they said, oh, let's catch this girl before she kill herself. So they overnighted it. And I said, oh, my goodness, thank you, Jesus. So now I know why I should love him. God wants us to know why we should love him. Who is really behind all disobedience? See, Satan. Now, oh, if I took mm -hmm. out really... Then you could right, probably say, right. oh. yeah, then you could, mm -hmm. <laughs> so Satan, his job is to lead everyone to disobey God. Par the mm -hmm. parents will be, they, I mean, mm -hmm. there's a part that they play in that right, as right. well as ministers yep. or anybody else mm -hmm. or us, mm -hmm. if we're, you know, preaching, not mm -hmm. preaching what we're supposed to be preaching, or if our influence is bad. Mm -hmm. Amazing. What miracle does God promise us? What did you say? Mm -hmm. See. He will work oh. miracles as we no, follow him. Does What's wrong with C? What's wrong with C? He can't compel you. Yes. Yeah. He yeah, doesn't yeah. compel. He doesn't force. And what's wrong with B? He can't he save, save us from our sins. sins. Yes. Very good. Save us from our sins. Yes. Very good. Wonderful. Will any be lost who think that they're saved? But yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All three. Mm -hmm. Many will be lost because of their motives. Many think their good works will save them. Many mm -hmm. will believe a lie thinking that they're saved. What mm -hmm. about Lord, Lord, I've done all this mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? And he said, I never knew you. Why did he say I never knew you? Because of that stuff we try to work our own way to heaven. Yeah. You know? Can you, can you really do good things though without loving the Lord? You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. But not good in the sight of God. But right, not good in the sight right. of God. Mm -hmm. Because a man was at, my car stopped one time and there was this man who was on drugs and he stopped and he fixed and he fixed my car for me. <laughs> he did a good mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. <laughs> God bless him. Hey, what you did a wonderful job on that lesson. Huh. Wonderful, wonderful. So the memory verse for the lesson is there's your little clue words, and I'm sure you can get this. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you're smart. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. If ye keep, keep my, my commandments, ye shall abide, abide in my love, love even as I have kept, kept my, my father's, father's commandments and abide, abide in his love. Mm -hmm. I'll do it without. If, if ye keep, keep my, commandments, my commandments, ye shall abide in my in love. My love. Even, Even as, as I have, have kept my father's, my father's commandments, commandments and, and abide in, in his, his love. love. John 15, 15 10. 10. Remember, always say the text. The, mm -hmm. the more you say it, the more it gets embedded in where? Long term. That's right. All right. So, so, say, so, so more say is good. That's how you learn scripture. You did a wonderful job today. Now, there's 14. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, of all the basic amazing facts lesson 14 so because uh and we'll talk about it when we finish because we're not going to meet for the next two weeks mm -hmm. so that all these memory verses can be embedded into your mind mm -hmm. okay all right mm -hmm. because i want to hear you recite them without anything but the bible text mm -hmm. all right, how many of you other than randy skeet can do that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah just, as, just as honest just don't know no scripture do you but the sabbath and and and, and john 3 16 okay <laughs> lord have mercy help us <laughs> so let's summarize what we've learned in our lesson so obedience forms good habits you know that right mm -hmm. so let's see once formed, a habit is like an iron net, taking weeks, even years to make. We may struggle desperately against bad habits, but of our own, it's impossible to break. Mm. Habits are formed by repeated thoughts and actions. They could be good or they could be bad. 
bad habits are more easily formed than good ones and That's more right. difficult to unlearn the bible adds mm -hmm. we should never be slow in breaking a sinful habit because they're the foundation of all our actions unless evil habits are completely conquered mm -hmm. then all righteousness will be a distraction mm -hmm. okay let none flatter themselves that sin cherished for time can be easily overcome. Mm -hmm. Every sin cherished strengthens the habit and they're not easily reversed, not one. It's a dangerous thing to allow an unchristian trait to live and dwell in the soul. Little by little, it breaks down our defenses and then Satan steps in and takes control. When the character is formed, the habits are fixed. Mental faculties have become firm. If our characters are made up of wrong habits, they'll be most difficult to be unlearned. Only through prayer, study, and obedience to God can, run this, can wrong dispositions be made right. The Holy Spirit is an agent who can change our character and make us pleasing in God's sight. All besetting sins are to be conquered. All evil habits are to be consumed. Wrong dispositions and feelings are to be rooted out so obedience and emotions can bloom. Amen. Bad habits, when opposed, offer strong resistance. But if we obey God, we will win. The blessing of obedience can truly be ours if we let Jesus break the bondage of sin. Obedience to Jesus breaks sinful habits over and over and over. Selfishness is renounced. The profane becomes reverent and the drunken person becomes sober. Souls that have been, souls that have borne the likeness of Satan have been transformed from their normal ritual. Only through obedience to Jesus Christ can right thoughts and actions become habitual. So we are to form those good habits. And what is it? Some people say it takes three weeks for, uh, for a habit to be formed. To form. I don't know. Maybe. And, and longer for it to set. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this lesson on obedience. Any questions so far? It was pretty straight and clear, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Any, any comments? because we got through with this a little quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very quick, a lot quicker than, than what I thought. Anything that you would like to add, uh, uh, Professor Skeet, anything you would like to add on this lesson on <laughs> obedience? Yeah, there's a, well, if you look at what God told Adam in the Garden of Eden, it, it uh -huh. goes all the way back. God said, look, if you eat of this tree, you will die. Right. Which means if you do not eat of that tree, you leave it alone, you'll live. So we have obedience is life, disobedience is death right when yeah. god called israel he made a covenant if you obey me i'll give you all these blessings if you disobey all these curses simple as that yeah mm. it is it's simple and the obedience must be microscopic mm. what do you mean everything god says we have to do as we know it yes we don't know everything at the same time when god told uh, Moses to build the ark. If you read Exodus 25 to 40, all uh -huh. those chapters, every individual detail Moses had to follow, he yes. could not change one. Not one thing. Not one. No. So that's not legalism. That's just obedience to God. Right, right. If you read the story of Noah, in, uh, if you have your Bibles, you can run there quickly. In Genesis chapter 6 and in chapter 7, listen to what the Bible says about Noah. In Genesis 6, verse 22, after God gave Noah all the instructions for building the ark and for preparing the food, verse 22 of Genesis 6 says, Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. If you go to Genesis chapter 7, you read verse 5, And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. You go yes. to Genesis 7, verse 9, There went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. You go to verse 16, and they that went in, went in, male and female of all flesh, 
as God had commanded him. And so no wonder the Bible describes Noah as righteous. Why? He was obedient to God. That is righteousness. If you read Deuteronomy 6, 25, and it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. Obedience and righteousness are the same thing. You cannot, and that's why Revelation 22, 14, the very last promise of the Bible, not the last promise, sorry, the last blessing of Revelation, blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have a right to the tree of life. Yes. Well, how did we lose that right? Disobedience yes. from Adam, simple as that. Yes. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks then. Uh, so are you righteous? Are we righteous? <laughs> Are we? Are you right? Jesus yeah. is righteous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is righteous. If we obey him. Are we righteous? Yes, through his righteousness. Yes. So, so then, can we live on this earth without sinning? Yes. Can we be perfect on this earth? Yes. Must we be perfect yes. on this earth before the absolutely? Second? Yes. So, so why why are people so afraid to say that? When I when I go and I talk to a lot of people, they're scared to death to say it because they say no one is righteous but jesus we know that <laughs> we know that you know but so why do you think people are afraid to say it to say they're there all right let's go a little further are you going to heaven yes or no <laughs> yes yeah and so so today right now as you sit in your seat you know whether or not you're a candidate for heaven, don't you? Mm -hmm. You do know. You might know. You know, if you're not, you're not gonna tell it, and if you're not, you know. But you know, but you know these things. And so when I, when I, uh, when people they they said, well, I don't want to say I'm going to heaven because you never know. What do you mean? <laughs> Is he gonna take us to heaven? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know who, where we're supposed to be going. You know, <laughs> today if you are ready mm -hmm. for the second coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? When we come back mm. on September 9, we will be, so give yourself a hand because now you have graduated from elementary oh. school <laughs> to high school. We're not doing junior high. We, we're going from elementary to high school. Lesson 15 on September the 9th, we're going to go into the advanced lessons who is the antichrist one word saints just one word if someone says to you who is the antichrist i want one word what would you say huh who's the antichrist i mean this is not you know this is um i'm just i'm just trying to figure you out i want one word to answer who is the antichrist and i'll give you one clue say one clue I will give you a letter. You want it? P. 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 Huh? Yes. Papacy. And we'll study about it on September the 9th. So, dear saints, what are you going to do? Tell the truth. Are you going to let these two weeks go by and not even look at your memory verses? Huh? Are, are you going to do that? Sure, you are. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> all right but before we go i just want let me just try something out can i try you out let me try you out because see you're the kind of people you're the kind of people that if the lord told you that i'm, I'm coming to get you on september 23 2006 when will y'all start getting ready <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try you out. This is what you're going to have to know. I'm just going to try you out. It says procrastination is a dangerous thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what? Okay, this is going slow. Is it me? It's, it's me that's slow? <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to try you out. All right, 
when you do your your memory verse test you're going to do it like this so since we have we, are, we have a few more minutes i just want to see how you do okay like how many gift certificates i might have to have to render out all right do the first one where's the mic so, so saints of the most high, righteous saints, those who are diligently studying your memory verses. So did you know that? Can you do it like that? I mean, really, can most, you? Most of them. Okay, that's good. Let's hear it. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and the two shall become one flesh. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, son, that whosoever believeth in him should so not perish but have everlasting life. life thou wast perfect in, perfect in thy ways in thy ways the day that thou was thou created, created until, until iniquity was found, was found in me for the lord himself shall, shall descend from heaven, heaven with, with a shout, shout with the voice of the archangel, archangel with, with the, the trump, trump of God, God and the dead, and the dead in, Christ in Christ shall rise first. All scripture is given, is given by inspiration, by inspiration of, God, of God and is profitable for doctrine, doctrine for reproof, reproof for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the that man of God may be perfect, perfect thoroughly furnished unto all, all good works. works. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not, not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and have it. As I live, says the Lord, I have no pleasure death of the wicked, mm -hmm, right. that the wicked turn from his way. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, die, O house of Israel? Think not the that I have them come to destroy the law or the prophets. Or the prophets. I have I come, come to destroy, destroy but to but fulfill. fulfill. For verily I said to you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot nor one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. For the living know that they shall die. But the dead know not anything, neither have they any, any more a reward forever in anything that is done under the earth. Also their love, love and their hatred and their, hatred and and their, their envy is now perished. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Mm -hmm. On such the second death hath no power, for they shall be priests of Christ and of God, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Whether, whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whether whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. Of God. Okay. What would you give? What would you give yourself? <laughs> a plus. <laughs> Randy gave himself an A plus. No, no, no. That's for all of us. Oh, oh, everybody got an A plus? That's okay. right. That's right. That's, okay, that's false doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So listen, uh, saints, you're doing a wonderful job. Continue to study God's word and not just do your amazing facts, do your Sabbath school lesson and do your own personal study. Okay. And just walk close with him each and every day. And what is that walk called? What is that walk called? What is it? It starts with an S. Yes. Sanctification. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if, if, uh, Hey, we're 20 minutes early. Anyone have anything to say or any more questions before we end this set, this uh, lesson, just remember when is our next lesson? September 9. September 9. And what are we going to be studying? Antichrist. Right. Antichrist. Yes, I will see if any if any of you text me if you need the memory verses in order so that you don't have to look. You will not find them all in the lessons because most of them came straight, didn't come from the lesson because they weren't close enough. Got it? So if you text me, I'll send you the whole um um, memory verses in order what you need to learn. Okay. Why do you need to memorize scripture? Thy word have I hid in mine heart yes, that I yes. might not sin against thee. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So we're good. Do you still love me? Yeah. Who do you love the most? Me yeah. or <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> no, just teasing. All right. Let's buy our head, Saints. <laughs> buy your head, Saints. Dear Father, thank you so much for walking with us and for talking with us and for teaching us. Thank you for opening our minds to you, to your love. Help us to accept you. Help us to be obedient to you in everything that you tell us to do. Give us clear understanding. And when you come, save us all in your kingdom, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty. Say hello,